Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel. Today is the day we will be reacting to the first place winners of the art grid and art list at a challenge. And let me tell you, you guys are crazy. We had more than 1000 submissions to this challenge and it was insane to see all that creativity and it was so hard to choose these 10 final winners. But before we start, hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel with that notification bell on to never miss another video from us. Now, let's jump in. The first video we will be reacting to is the music video category. So let's roll the video. Nice opening. Nice, I like the opener. Those vintage mats are super trendy right now and I like the way they've used it. I also like the fact that they didn't take a lyric song. And there's so much sound design going on. Oh, great transition from the 8mm to VHS. I like it. such an authentic feel to it. It just draws you in. You want to see what happens next. Basically, it's a recap of, you know, love and life for a couple. You know, all these small moments in life. I really like the concept. So I think what's unique about this music video is there's a story happening here. It's trying to, you know, portray a whole life cycle showing birth, childhood, adulthood, getting in love, getting all together. And this creator did it perfectly with showing all these small moments in life. And I really like the fact that this creator didn't use a lyrical song. But in fact, he chose to go with uh, an instrumental song together with a lot of great sound design work. And that soundtrack fits perfectly to the storytelling of the music video. Also, what I really like about this video is the use of abstract shots and also the use of nostalgic filters like the 8mm look and the film grain and the VHS and it just follows along the, the storyline and it's beautiful to see. So congratulations, first place winner of the music video category. Now, let's check the first place for the ad category. Let's watch it. 
I was really determined to find love. I always wanted to find my soulmate. And I didn't want to waste any more time. Great so opening to, based to the ad. Age. And you create a virtual body that is just like your own. No, I, I didn't meet Michael on the first try. We found each other and we just kept on going from there. So lucky I found Great it. script. And the voiceover is really good. Soulmate VR. Only oh, available the logo and the end. Nice. A new world to find love. Some After Effects action right there. So, congratulations to you. First place of the ad category. So this video, in my opinion, is very unique. I think there's a really creative idea behind it. Just a small disclaimer, ArtGrid does not have a VR headset available, but maybe in the future, who knows? So this creator made an ad for a dating app, which you can find your soulmate through a VR headset. This is definitely an original idea and, and a creative idea, and the execution is even harder. You need to create a world, a futuristic world, and tell a story of these couple falling in love through a dating app that is only available on a VR headset, which is not easy to do, but this creator did an exceptional job of finding the right footage to tell that story. The opener was really interesting. You see those two individual people wearing their headset. You can hear them talking, which draws you in uh, right away and you want to find out more about this product. Um, and I want to say that the script is very well written. You can actually imagine these two people sitting in an interview and, you know, telling their love story. And it feels like the editor took a authentic interview and took the best lines from that interview and pieced it to a 30 seconds ad. And you can also feel sort of a connection to that couple. It feels authentic. It feels like a real love story. And it's all about the great voiceover work, the great script, together with some amazing visuals, great editing paste, and the song choice fits perfectly. And that sweet After Effect animation at the end title, and it all combines together to a super interesting, creative brand ad. And you've got yourself a first place winner for the ad category. So congratulations to you. Now let's move on to the first place winner of the movie trailer category. 911, what's your emergency? <laughs> Great opener. Draws you in. So tell me, why did you kill them? told me if I do it, I can see her again. I love the voice over here. There. And the footage choice is just on point. The one who sees everything. Also the sound design. The one who knows everything. The ones who see everything. You can't run from him. I love how he uses the color palette. What do you mean? Consistent color here? palette, that's important. Nice title in the end. First of all, let me just say that the script is really good. I think the powerful thing about trailers is you have a limited time to tell fractions of a big story not to reveal too much but at the same time drawing the attention and you know moving forward with some sort of a storyline with a one cohesive subject and this trailer did it perfectly in my opinion you get the understanding there is a murder happening you get the understanding that there's something to do with a demon maybe or some religious entity we see the cross we see hebrew wordings so everything feels like this is a full movie with a full storyline the opener with that drone shot of those you know creepy woods 
and that voiceover of a, a 911 call, you're instantly drawn in and you want to, you know, understand what's happening. And you get the feeling that there's one character that's telling the story and we see that story through his eyes. Everything along that from the footage to the color palette, sound design, the script and the voiceover work just combines to a really interesting trailer. The title in the end, how the T turns into a cross. So everything just wraps around a full story that you understand, but you still want to learn more about the characters, about the story, what happens. And that's the fine line of creating a really good trailer that leaves you with a taste for more and a not so good trailer where they just give you everything you know all the jump scares or that reveal most of the story and when you go to see that movie you end up understanding that everything was revealed in the trailer so it doesn't feel like that at all with this and just you know the editing skill the creativity and of course the storytelling behind this trailer makes it our first place winner so congratulations to you the first place winner for our movie trailers category. So that's it. We hope you enjoyed this video. We have two links down in the description below summarizing this amazing challenge. Congratulations to the 10 lucky winners. We want to thank all the talented creators in our amazing community that took part in this challenge. We did not expect so many submissions coming in and it was super hard to narrow it down to 10 winners. But don't forget, what's important is the creative process getting out of your comfort zone and creating something for yourself in order to evolve as a creator. So be proud of that. We also want to thank our three awesome judges, Ryan Conley, Darius Britt, and Brandon Lee. Thank you for the hard work. You can find links in the description to their channels. And we also want to thank our amazing sponsors and partners for this challenge. Thank you for supporting content creators around the world. We hope you've enjoyed this video and if you did, hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel with that notification bell on to never miss another video from us. Till the next time, stay creative. Shoot.